Hello YouTube, this is the Florida Rider, out for a little cruise between jobs today. For this month's travel segment, I thought I'd tell you about how I became interested in Asia. When I first moved to Germany, I took German lessons to learn the language, which made sense to me. <laughs> if you're going to live in their country, learn their language, why not? And my class had people from all over the world in it. I mean, there were people from Thailand, people from Iraq, people from Argentina, Peru. It was like a big melting pot, and it was a lot of fun. We all got along very well. And one day we had sort of like a, a show and tell segment where we all had to bring in pictures from our countries. And the girl from Thailand, whose name is Anne, well, her name isn't Anne, but she went by Anne because English speakers can't pronounce her real name. Um, brought in pictures of white sand beaches of Phuket, which is where she's from. And I said to myself, oh my goodness, that is so amazing. And I said to her, I'm going to go there next year. This is in 2003. And I said that to the whole class, actually. And I started shopping around for uh, for air tickets, and I started, you know, figuring out the costs and this and that. And I did actually go there the following year for four weeks. I flew into Bangkok because it's by far the the cheapest place to fly into from Frankfurt. Once I got there, I started traveling around on buses and boats, and I visited a lot of different areas from Bangkok South. And then I went back to uh, Germany and I was cold again. And my longtime subs know that I do not like being cold. So I started planning a way to get back there again for the same amount of time because I had four weeks vacation, sorry, I had six weeks vacation and decided to use all of them for a trip at the end of the year. I mean, when I first got to Asia, I really didn't know what to expect. I had never been there before. Uh, but I had friends who had been there, luckily, so they gave me some advice. But it was really a, a time of exploring and learning and, and trying new food and things like that, and it was amazing. And then there was also the thing about being warm at the end of the year that I really, really liked. And so I said to myself, well, maybe I'll go back again and visit different parts of Thailand. And luckily at that time, Air Asia had just started flying, and I believe it was 2005, and so I, I booked myself um, some cheap tickets on Air Asia. And yes, it did stay in the air, for those who might be wondering. <laughs> it's really interesting when you visit a part of the world that you've never been to because you know nothing about it other than what you read in guidebooks. Or at least in my case I did, because I did read, probably from front to back, a guidebook. But it's also interesting to see how much of what you read is true. And luckily, just about all of it was. But it's also interesting to see how you feel in that country. Now, I have no problem being around people who are not like me. No problem at all. I have lived in cities almost all of my life, and it's normal here. It's also fun learning how to get around, especially when you can't read the language. Um, for example, in Bulgaria, they use the Cyrillic alphabet, and I was able to survive there by thinking, the, thinking of it as matching the pictures because um, Cyrillic letters are different than our letters, and it worked out for me. And so in Thailand, I sort of had fun trying to match the symbols for things that were not in English. And I had done a little bit of homework to see what type of food was available, because I had eaten Thai food before, but, you know, when you go to another country, you really find out what the food is like rather than what it tastes like in your country. For example, 
Italian food in Italy tastes a lot different than it does in Germany and in the USA. They're, they use a lot less sauce and they don't put everything on it that we put here and especially in Germany because in Germany it's not uncommon to find lasagna with like egg and uh, you know boiled egg and peas in it and I remember one time in Germany I was eating with my friend Jessica and <laughs> she said to me isn't this lasagna good I said to her this isn't lasagna look at all the stuff that's in it she said okay well whatever it is isn't it good and I said, actually, it's very good. <laughs> and so um, I also learned to eat with chopsticks before I went to uh, Thailand. Well, semi-learned. I was still sort of a novice um, when I first went there. And it's quite funny because sometimes... A little bit too much throttle there. Sometimes they'll give white people chopsticks and sit back and watch what you do with them. And so I was able to... I was able to fake it. What's the phrase? Fake it till you make it? <laughs> and sometimes the people smiled at me because I was trying and sometimes they brought me a knife and fork. So it was a good experience. And my interest in um, Asia just grew from there because I said to myself, wow, this is pretty cool. I think I like it. And so I said to myself, well, okay, I'm going to come back again, but it's not just going to be for the warm weather and for the beaches. And of course, Bangkok, which is an awesome city. Oh my goodness. Has anyone out there ever been to Bangkok? It's sort of like Los Angeles and New York City combined and on steroids. <laughs> It's just an amazing place that I absolutely love. One of my favorite cities in the world, I think. So that's basically how I got interested in Asia. I became interested by a photo in my German class and said I'm going to go there next year, and I did. And I went back every year from 2003 to 2010 until I moved back to the U USA in 2011. So has anyone else out there ever been to Asia on their own? Meaning not with the military or not on an organized trip? If so, I'd love to hear what you thought about it. But I would really enjoy to hear how you first got interested in it. I mean, was it a whim? You just threw a dart and, land, and it landed on Tokyo and you went to Japan, or... How did you get there? And I don't mean by airplane because I'm quite sure you didn't swim. What got you interested in it? And did, was it what you had expected? I have to admit that I didn't know what it would be like so I didn't really have any expectations. And that's generally the best way to go. Anyway, let me know if you're planning to go to Asia or if you've been to Asia. And we'll continue the travel series next month. This is the Florida Rider signing off. Goodbye.